Hi, my name is Heather Manzi, and I'm a hydrologic technician with the USGS office in Truckee, California. I would like to take a few minutes to talk about the general process of uploading SWAMI XML output files into SiteVisit. SWAMI output files, as well as other electronic field applications such as CHIMP and station levels, consist of a specific form of XML developed by the USGS called HydroML. These XML output files are designed to be loaded into NWIS SiteVisit database using one of the following two methods. The first method I will be covering is known as the drag and drop method. A SWAMI XML file can be imported by simply dragging and dropping the file into SiteVisit GUI at any point. You can drag and drop one file or multiple files at once. Once you drop the file into SiteVisit GUI, a dialog box will appear, and the user is given the option to import, import and overwrite, or to cancel. The import and overwrite button will overwrite any existing site visit that overlaps with the site visit being imported. If the overwrite option is not used and a coincident site visit is encountered, site visit will attempt a merge operation. This can be useful when creating one site visit entry for two overlapping XML files. For example, a coincident CHIMP and SWAMI site visit. If the overlap option is used and more than one coincident site visit is encountered, the import will be aborted. Only one site visit can be overwritten by the incoming file. When the import is complete, the site visit is initially shown in its own tab in the GUI and can be viewed as desired prior to saving. It must be saved at this point to be stored in the database. Now I'll demonstrate an alternate method for uploading SWAMI files to SiteVisit. A SWAMI XML file can also be interactively processed within the GUI by using the File Import option. Start by clicking the File menu in your SiteVisit window and select Import from the drop-down box. Once you select Import, a dialog box will open that asks you to select the XML file you would like to import. Navigate to the location where the SWAMI output file has been stored. Click the file to be imported and click Open. Like the previous upload method, when the import is complete, the site visit is shown in its own tab and can be viewed prior to saving but it must be saved at this point to be stored in the database. This concludes our demonstration of uploading SWAMI XML files to site visit. If you have any questions regarding this process, please contact the SWAMI help group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS webpage at the address shown.